Hey everyone, welcome back to Forces of Corruption. I, uh, I spent a little time just thinking about what I'm gonna do next. And, uh, right now, I have a problem with, uh, unit cap. And, um, I just need to take more planets to raise that unit cap. I thought about taking, like, Shola. But, uh, the problem with Shola is that it has a planetary ability that automatically damages infantry. It also has a lot of things that are very good against infantry. And what's my problem right now? I can only make infantry. So, <laughs> Shul is a little bit out of the question right now. I mean, I could take it if I send like a, a buttload of units there, but again, I have a small unit cap. And uh, I could send guys over to uh, Nawahara. You can actually bribe past uh, corrupted planets to uh, get to, you know, planets beyond the corrupted area. But, uh... Well, I could do that. I think it'd be easier just to go ahead and go after Mandalore right now. Because, uh, yeah, one of the problems that we're having right now is that we just don't have very much unit, unit diversity. Like, we have uh, fighters and, like, this frigate. So uh, let's, let's just go ahead and, you know, do, do, do a piracy mission to get, you know, a little, some more units. Let's go ahead and uh, spread your corruption there. And we actually don't need, like, uh, we don't need units to do, like, corruption missions. It gives us, like, uh, some units, like, right off the bat, just some free units to work with. It's just, like, its own, um, separate mission. It doesn't affect the, the galactic map at all. Men, the Zahn Consortium expects your best today. If everyone does their part, we'll not fail. Okay, raid Mandel Hypernautic Systems. Piracy is going, to be, is going to be especially dangerous to set around Mandalore. I have to personally take charge to make this mission work against the vicious inhabitants of Mandalore and their brand of space fighters. Defilers assemble a strike team of our reservists to accomplish our goal. And that's that's basically uh, their uh, their excuse, I suppose, to say that um, we're not actually taking units from our from the galactic map. It's like, oh, these guys were just in reserve, whatever. We'll be facing the Mandalorian clan chieftains attempting to defend the space above their planet. Their proud warrior tradition means this will be a fight to the death. Okay, so we, we're just doing like a duel against the Mandalorians. So, uh, hmm. Prepare your Have to attack the space station. I could keep Tiber. Oh. Okay, I could keep Tiber out of the fight, but he's in a frigate, and frigates are useful for attacking things. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're designed for. Okay, so we have this asteroid base, which is pretty cool. Let's identify what the key targets are going to be. So they have a lot of turbo laser batteries, but I think we want to take out these concussion missile launchers. Because missile launchers uh, punch right through shields, whereas lasers don't. And we also want to... I actually don't think asteroid bases uh, generate units. So that'll also be something... We, we can probably get away with uh, ignoring the hangar. Take out the missile launchers. Yeah, just take out the missile launchers for now. And this frigate also has missile launchers, which is pretty cool. I got fighters on me. Target those missile launchers. Yeah, and also the concussion missile launchers are pretty good at taking out uh target the shield generated for destruction. Taking out our fighters. So in general, concussion missile launchers are just good to take out overall. So go ahead and take out these turbo lasers. Whoa. Okay. That's a problem. <laughs> There's your problem. Alright. Our fighters have these buzz droids. They'll attack nearby enemy craft. Oh, okay, L larger ships are immune to buzz droids, so, you yeah, know, it's not going to help against this. I think I want to... Have you run? I see. 
flee. Just just get out of there, Tiber. Can anyone else see him? Where are you? But uh, otherwise we're gonna wanna take out these guys. They have a mass driver. Mass drivers are a new are a new weapon in Force of Corruption. They're basically like uh, Gauss rifles. They they fire like projectiles using magnetic rails and stuff. My patience wears thin. This better be worth my time. Why can't I just select the these guys? Okay. Wow. Guess I'll just double click them. So this thing isn't that big of a deal anymore. I mean, they have laser cannons, but whatever. We actually want to take out these guys. This guy right here. This thing actually doesn't have uh, shields, which, which is interesting. Star Viper Squadron um, let's see. Moving yeah, just everyone, position. everyone focus the Kaldave. Weapons charged. Take out this mass driver as well. Get over here and help. They have strong resistance. Yeah, it's. It's just ripping me apart. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it is it just the mass Oh, wait a second. I think I am particularly stupid. Does anyone doubt my ability? <laughs> um you might be doubting my ability right now, Tyber. I think I've failed this pretty hard. I actually... I think the asteroid base was releasing units. But, um, they are yellow. Well, they're orange, but they're very close to yellow. I actually thought these were my units. So, um... If that is necessary. Welp. I think I've failed this pretty hard. Go at him, Diver. You got this. You 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 totally got this. <laughs> well, rip this run. Rip this mission anyway. So uh don't do what I did. Don't do what I did, ignore the hangar. That was a that was a pretty dumb mistake. That's alright. Our Tiber's fine. I just need to make another uh, defiler. It's still pretty early on in the uh, pretty early in the campaign, so we don't really need to worry too much about enemy attack. Especially since we only have the one planet. I, I actually think the uh, the game is designed in such a way that it, they won't actually attack you this early on. So we're allowed to make mistakes like that. Go ahead and try that again. It is costing us money, which is uh, unfortunate. Men, the Zon Consortium expects your best. We'll be yeah, we are your new diver. Clan chieftains attempting to defend the space above their planet. Their proud warrior tradition means this will be a fight to the death. All right. So new plan: take out the missile launchers, take out the hangar, especially. And uh, use the buzz droids. That's that's kind of annoying that um that pirate forces are orange, and it's so easy to mistake them for your own forces. So I'll go ahead and take out the hangar here. All right, take out the concussion launchers now. Okay. I actually don't think the hangar brings them in. I think they're just here. So, uh, that's irritating. Let's see. We're on station. I only want to... I don't want to use all of them. I just want to use some. The buzz droids. Active. I'm hit. Do not make me wait. I'll take out these laser cannons. 
Because they're taking out my units. Oh, there's a Kadabe. Uh... Still kind of far away, so I don't. I'm not too intimidated by it. Weapons armed. I do want to take out these guys, though. Weapons online. What are you concerned with? The enemy will pay. Yeah, just just take out those fighters. I don't want them taking out my fighters because my fighters are the only thing keeping Typer alive. Quite literally. Our target priority. The Kadabi is still out there quite a ways. It's not doing that much to us. The mass driver is kind of annoying, but we're just just focusing one thing at a time right now. All right. Space station is down. Let's take out their uh, their mass drive for now. All right, this time this time I I was not an idiot. I I did not just ignore uh, their fighters as they were taking out my fighters. All right, mass driver down. Other mass driver down. Our target priority is the laser cannon. Yeah, I want to take out all the guns on this side, so that he's not attacking Tiber. As expected. I can't see him. The lasers are our target. Unfortunately, we're uh, running out of guys. I, I think we managed to, uh, I think we managed to damage him enough where it's not going to be a problem. So, like, even if we lose our, our blast boats, like, I think Tiber will be able to 1v1 this guy. What is this special weapon? I actually don't think he has access to the special weapon right now. So it's alright. We took out both of his mass drivers, so we don't need to worry about him piercing our shields. And he only has one turbo laser and one ion cannon. And we're just chipping away at him with our uh, our concussion missile launcher. I'm gonna go into a battle cam. Just 1v1 this guy. Yeah, see now all he has is the ion cannon, and the ion cannon doesn't do uh, physical damage, so... There's literally nothing you can do right now. They sure do love this shot of just, you know, slowly pulling back from underneath a, a battleship. I think I can, like, take control of... Yeah, if I hit spacebar, I can, like, force the next, uh... Next camera change. I remember in the last game I could like control it. How do I do that? I forget. What I what am I doing right now? What is this? Oh, it's like um. I don't know what that is. <laughs> all, all he has is the one ion cannon. Oh no, he took out my concussion launcher. Oh no. Moving. Okay, so this is going to take a while. Again, Tiber, you got this. Slowly chip away at his ion cannons. <laughs> it's like getting stung to death by like one hornet. Like one angry bee is like attacking him until he dies. But we're almost done. You, you did it all by yourself, Tiber. Good job. I'm proud of you. 
I've successfully defeated the Mandalorian chieftain. The continuing raids will soon bring them to their knees. Soon after you escaped, I went to recover the artifact from its hiding place. Jabba must have given up half his criminal empire to buy that ancient puzzle. I'll bet he expected to double his wealth by selling it to the Empire. <laughs> Even at twice his price, the Empire would have paid far too little. So you found out what it is? I did gain some information. The artifact dates as far back as the Sith Wars, making it around 4,000 years old. For such an artifact to be so well hidden for so long, it must contain a secret of great importance. Do you know its origin? Based on the design, it is likely a Sith artifact. I believe it may be a data storage device of some kind, but it also seems to serve another unknown purpose. Fascinating, Yura. If we could unlock its secrets, we might find something very useful. I want you to keep investigating, but not at the expense of our rebuilding. I want Jabba, the Empire, everyone to know that the Zahn Consortium is back. While I was in prison, one of my cellmates mentioned that the Emperor had a vast collection of treasure that he kept all over the galaxy in hidden vaults. I persuaded him to share more information with me. Only an ex-Imperial officer would truly know that. Did he mention the location of these vaults? I never found out, unfortunately. I may have been a bit overzealous in my questioning. He may not have known the locations of the vaults, but I'm convinced his story is more than just a rumor. And now we have the perfect opportunity to test the story, thanks to the Rebels. The Rebellion? Alliance forces have destroyed the Imperial Death Star over Yavin 4. Most Imperial battle stations carry data pods that are to be ejected during emergencies. Perhaps someone thought to follow protocol before the Death Star was destroyed. And if the Rebels are still in the vicinity? The Rebels will be there. They have an entire base on Yavin 4 and have nowhere else to go. The Empire will soon send a fleet to retaliate. We must move quickly to find a data pod. There are a few planets between us and Yavin that the Consortium doesn't control. What is their fate? Corrupt them. Conquer them. Be creative, Yurai. Just remember that getting to Yavin is our goal. Mission log updated. Alright, so now the uh, game is pretty much giving us free reign to do uh, whatever we want on the way to Yavin. It's opened up uh, a few more planets as well. Huh. The mall is just, uh, you can't corrupt it because like, it doesn't have a planet. That makes sense. So I was hoping to uh, take Mandalore. Um, they have some Keldabe battleships above above the planet, though, so that's not going to be too likely. They have a lot of stuff guarding this. I think I can sneak sneak this guy down onto the planet, though, because he has like this uh, this little symbol next to his name. Uh, I think that means that uh, he can just sneak past like enemy enemy lines. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Just gonna make like a, a second save. And try that out. I see. Can I do that? Yeah, I can just sneak past. It's my plan now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's it's my uh, my space station now. So that's cool. So this is now generating income for me and also increase my unit cap. Gonna make a uh, consortium palace. And uh, what the consortium palace does is it takes, like, the base income of the planet and adds, like, seven times that amount to your income. Like, the base income of Ryoth is 60, so it adds, like, 420. You know, 420, blaze it, etc. So, yeah, there you go. I'm now getting, like, a, a, a lot of money, basically. Corruption income, oh, plus 200. So I'm actually getting some extra income from just corruption stuff. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and just build a barracks here. Just for, just for the heck of it. I'm gonna move Tiber back. And what does this uh, what does this do for me? Cost of Mandalorian units goes down. So like, I, eventually I'm gonna be able to make the Kadalbi battleship, as well as uh, Star Viper squadrons. Yeah, and that, that affects uh, all units across all planets, so Star Vipers are just cheaper for me now. And also from the Piracy, I got the Tartan Patrol Cruiser, which is normally an Imperial unit, but because I did the Piracy, it gave me uh, one of their units. So that's pretty cool. I can uh, make those now.